Hello, and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose, and today we are reviewing this guy. This weird looking dude thing. Pardon the dog barking. Anyways, check it out. Pretty funky. Oh man, I just noticed that. Cool, I'll have to talk about that. I didn't even I've had this for a while, I didn't even notice that. Okay, cool, you learned something new. So, this is the Kershaw DIY. The Kershaw DIY. Take a good gander at this guy. Alright. And I'll read over some specs, and we'll get into the knife. So, the Kershaw DIY. The overall length is 5.75 inches long. The blade length is 2.375 inches long. The cutting edge is 2 inches. The blade length, or blade thickness, is 0.11 inches thick. The handle length is 3.25 inches. The handle thickness is 0.41 inches thick. Which, I think it's actually thicker than that. So that might be a typo off the Blade HQ website where I'm getting that info from. Uh, but other than that, the overall weight on this is 3.4 ounces. So this knife is based off of Kershaw's ever so popular shuffle. And basically they took the shuffle and tried to make it more multi-toolish uh, by... Uh, giving a fatter handle scale where you can store uh, hex bits. But we'll get into that in a second. Uh, looking at the blade, it has a black powder coating, hollow grind, plain edge blade. The overall blade shape's the same, uh, though they did add some uh, jimping, some fairly wide jimping up top here. Uh, branding, you have the Kershaw logo there. On the back side, you have the Kai model number, and then China and ATR 13 MOV blade steel, which Kershaw's 13 ATR 13 MOV. It's pretty standard. It's good stuff for budget knives. I uh, have black, uh, fairly robust thumb studs, and yeah, definitely is slicey. Uh, high hollow grind makes it very slicey and like I said before with this belly half the knife is belly there so you can actually get some roll cuts done jimping though I feel the jimping isn't in a very good place and I don't know if they intended this jimping to serve a, a different purpose I mean I can reach up there but it seems a little bit far if I hold in this grip though the jimping does seem to help but I almost wish it was a little bit closer to the tip, but that works for doing like draw cuts or whatnot. So I guess that's usable. But I still would like to see some sort of jimping right before the thumb studs. Uh, going into this, because it has that thicker handle scale, um, the actual choils for the finger actually feel a lot better. Like they just curve into that handle scale. Um, but then you f feel these weird spots of texturing because of the hex bits. But we'll talk about that some more. So going into the handle, overall it's the same shape. It's just thicker, and then there's different things going on here. Um, so it's a GFN handle scale. Hardware is blacked out. The stainless steel backspacer uh, with the bottle cap opener is blacked out. But instead of terminating in a flathead lanyard hole, you have the actual hex bit driver portion. Uh, so it's just a flat end. And that's where I just noticed that you have a very tiny little lanyard hole there that I didn't notice before. So uh, put some small cordage through there. Uh, it does come with two hex bits, uh, a Phillips and a flathead. And they just sit in there, and it is magnetized. So if you have that question, it is magnetized. Uh, and two, if you are going to use the hex bits, make sure you actually close the knife. Now, as you can see, it's not the most centered uh, things, but it is centered enough to give you a decent 
rotation when you're actually screwing something in. And it does, it is narrow enough to get th to most spaces. Um, but I could see this being a little bit more handy for like basic uh, s screwing in jobs. I feel wrong saying that. Um, but uh, the hex bits are just friction fit into the um, slots and you just push them out and they slide right out. And then you screw. So it works pretty good. And then to slide them in, you just put them in, tail end in. Uh, sometimes you have to fiddle with it to get them properly secured in there. Um, but, you know, they're in there and they stay in pretty well. But just know that if you're sliding it in or out of your pocket, there's a potential for the bit to slide out as well. Um, but they are replaceable, so that's good. And they do fit your standard hex bit, one-sided hex bit. Uh, so yeah, I basically just kind of used it um, a little bit for screwing in like uh, the plug-in plates uh, for your outlets. Um, or just having the flatheads kind of useful for screwing in the base plates to tripods for your cameras or whatnot. Um, but I don't know, it's not, it's usable. It's usable. I don't necessarily find it as usable uh, for me to take it out. Um, there's other tools that I would almost prefer to use, like the Outdoor Edge slide winder with the flathead there and the Phillips on that end, uh, or even the Kershaw Pub uh, is pretty good for that as well, or even just a doohickey um, key tool or keychain tool. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, it does still work pretty well, though. And it is a, a functional knife with a three and a half <laughs> finger grip. So there you have it. Let's compare it. Of course, here's a comparison to the original Kershaw Shuffle. Same overall shape and profile. Uh, the back end's different flathead versus the hex bit holder. And then thickness-wise, you'll see the difference. Uh, but still, nonetheless, a handy tool. Uh, we'll compare that. We'll throw in the Robin 2. And we'll throw in the Dejo Ledge tool. Which, this is a pretty interesting knife. Uh, so as you can see it, <laughs> the ledge is much longer in handle and in blade. Um... But these are all fairly comparable, two-inch cutting surfaces on all, uh, except for the ledge. And then they all have a finger trail. So actually, we'll just get rid of the ledge right now. Sorry, ledge. Um, so compare it to this, the original. Uh, and it looks like the original shuffle is slightly larger than the DIY. Uh, but they are basically the same size, just the handle is... Bigger, thicker, thinner. So there's that. Uh, and about the same as well. Handle thinner, thicker. Uh, you do feel the weight difference definitely compared to these other knives though. Uh, and it's mostly because of the extra weight in the hex bit driver. As well as containing those extra hex bits and the thicker handle scale. It is a stainless steel blacked out liner lock and it's recessed in there uh, and it works pretty well. So there you have it. Last test, the ugly round glove test. Now I think the shuffle originally, the regular one got like a B. Uh, this doesn't have the uh, K grip texturing, it just has kind of like a cross pattern cloth texturing that actually is much smoother um on on your skin it, it fits pretty well but with a cloth gloved hand uh it doesn't grip much and then two of these choils are fairly slick but uh because it's thicker the choils do lock in a little better and then that jimping does help a little bit on the thumb but 
my thumb feels more natural here, so I wish there was jimping there. Uh, just slightly more slick than the original. In this position, it's actually decent. Uh, finding the lock, unlocking, getting the thumb studs. Definitely can disengage the lock and deploy the blade, so passes on that. As far as getting the uh, bits out with the glove, just push out in, take them out, push it back in. So yeah, actually you can do that with the gloved hand, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's a little harder getting them back in. Uh, but nonetheless doable. Does it pass? Yes. Does it pass pretty well? I'd say it's all right. I'd give it a C plus on the ugly brown glove test. So, all right, guys, there you have it. Kershaw DIY shuffle or Kershaw shuffle DIY. One of those two, uh, check it out. You know, it's not for everyone, but if you find the utility in it and you find, you know, you have a specific purpose for it. Um, you can definitely find it uh, at the time of this video is under 25 bucks um, So I think you could find it anywhere from like 20 to $30 I'll leave links in the description below uh, And you can check those out for up-to-date pricing on that check out these other two videos here Click the big round logo button to subscribe or just click click the subscribe button hit that notification bell like comment and subscribe and I'll see you outside Thank you guys